Uh, I just put up to the mall and you already know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. Shoot it with me forever, you already know how we shooting. You know how we shooting. I just put up in the phone, you already know how I'm doing. What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy, Saucy Boys, and I'm back with another video. And as y'all see right here, man, I did have a previous big man build. It was like way back when like the demo first came. I think it was like the first day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like the first day. But that big man build, it was good. But this big man build right here, this right here, in my opinion, I mean, you can have your opinion on the builds and all. But I'm telling you, I've been playing big man since 16. I know my stuff about the bigs, bruh. I know a lot about the big mans. And I'm going to tell you this now. This big man build is the best big man build in the game. If you want to just bully, you want to score, this is the way to go. Stretch bigs are looking a little different this year. And I don't think you can honestly put a stretch big at a center no more. So it's going to have to be a stretch four. So I won't even say a stretch big. You can't do that no more. So I'm just going to say like a big man next centers. We're all going to be having centers. I doubt there's really going to be anything unless it's like a post score. But the post scores ain't going to be all that this year since their down low scoring won't be that good. Or it would just be decent. Like it won't be like 90s and stuff like it was last year. So this big man build right here, man, is insane. Nothing's going to be able to guard you. I'm telling you, you're going to be able to bully anything that's in your way, anyone that's around you. They're going to have to be a pure rim protector. They're going to have to be a paint protector. But you're probably still going to be able to get off a couple buckets. You're going to be able to score them. It's not going to be impossible. It's just going to be hard. It's going to be a little bit harder. But when you're able to, like, if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to get buckets on anybody, basically. That's just how this game works, in my opinion. If, you, if you're better than the other person, you could score them. Even though, I mean, the lockdowns are pretty broken. But we don't know how it's working this year with the contestant behind with bigs. And the paint when it's stupid. You know how the centers work and how, like, the shot contest is. It's very dumb. And it usually is always super broken in the game where they'll be behind you. You'll put up a layup, and they're still contest. Now, this right here is the build right here, man. You got to put, I'm telling you, just do exactly what I do. Do everything that I do. I put up, like, 60 points. It may have been, or like, yeah, it was, like, 60 points. I think it was, like, 64 or something like that with this build. I winded up getting Willie Cauley Stein fouled out of the game. So it was just, like, Looney in or something. It was some bum, him and then some bum. And I think then they put, like, Draymond on me. And since I had, like, all the finishing badges, I was just able to bully. Now, if you put up post moves, I'm going to tell you all this now, bro. If you put up those post moves, I'm, like, 100% sure that once you put that up, it allowed, like, you are able to do post moves better. Like, basically, like a drop step, you'll get the better animation more, or you have a higher percent of chance of getting the animation. So, them post scoring builds, the one that's, like, a stretch big, like, all the shooting, that's really not going to work this year. Because their post move down low is going to be very bad. They're not going to be very good post scores. Now, this is just like a straight up scoring build that I made for the demo. Now, I probably wouldn't build as much into the shooting. But I was just doing it for like the badges for the most part. I usually check out. Like I always tell you, I usually check how many badges I get in like each category. And as you see, maxed out shooting, we get 21. Maxed out finishing, we get 23. And maxed out playmaking, 17. Which is very good on a big man. You might be wondering like why or something. If you are able to get, first off, you can post pen technician at the playmaking spot now. That's where it's at, like that section. And then if you're able to get dimer on a center, it will be very effective. People that play twos with big men or even threes, you know they will double team. They will help. Or even if you're just swinging a ball around after a rebound, you're able to throw that ball out and give out a gold dimer. That will be very, very, very helpful just for your teammates, for whoever you're playing with. In general, whether you're playing pro-am, that will be very helpful. Anything. Figure you can have dimer and you can have break starter. And you could throw full court passes to your teammate into the corner and you could be knocking down easy jumpers. Now, it's, in my opinion, I just like having a big man. I liked last year how I had Dimer because I'm not really just like straight score. I pass the ball a lot. I usually know when to pass. I always get the ball in the right spot, bro. I know what I'm doing. I got the IQ. So I love, I don't like enjoy passing. It's not like the funnest thing to do. Of course, I like dunking on people and scoring, getting buckets. But I enjoy, you know, making that pass out there, getting the assist, bro, because I, I like winning. It's not all about me, bro. It's about the team. And you got to pull off the dub with a good team, bro. You can't have a bum team and just expect to win. You got to have the full team laid out. You can carry a little bit. But with my post score, I was able to throw some dimes. I think I had, like, bronze or, like, silver dimer on my build on my 96. So it was just helpful being able to have that dimer and throw out a pass to someone in the corner, like a lockdown. Or someone that wasn't the best shooter, like some shot creators. Their three-pointer was, like, in low 80, something like that. And they can hit it down. Even some slashing, like, play, like builds that I played with. I was able to give them passes to the corner, just passes on three, and they were able to get shots off. It's just very helpful to have playmaking badges on a center. Like I said, post pin technicians in there. You got break starter in there. You got, like, just regular easy, like, badges that can help you out that most centers won't have that will basically make you better than them. As you see, 
The scoring on his build is very good. Now the driving and like driving lab and dunk is never good on centers, especially when your seven three goes super low. So if you don't want to put that up as much, you really don't have to. Because as a big man, you're really not running as much and finishing. And if you do, it's more likely going to be like a dunk or you're going to finish it. Which I still think it's stupid how bigs don't have any driving stats at all. But like a sharpshooter, a point guard will have like an 80 or 70. Like how can they drive and finish better than me? I don't know, but the dev's got to figure that out. But this mainly right here is like the build. If you want to build it out just like this, I'm going to just keep it like this for a little bit. If you put it around these stats, you see the badge that you get. 23 finishing. 21 shooting now you don't really even need as much shooting so in my opinion you would i would probably put all the shooting down like the mid-range the three and the free throw i would probably just keep like three three to six i would say just so you can have like post fades and then maybe catch and shoot or if you want to put on um dead eye just so you can shoot a little bit contest it one of those two i would definitely have on post fades definitely at least have three shooting badges so you know that badge will help out a little bit you can shoot post fades a little bit better because the post fade stat really isn't that high it's like an 80 or something it's not going to be knocked down so you're going to be able to shoot them pretty good and it's just going to be helpful to have it now like i said i'll probably take away most of the shooting badges so if you want to do that and put up a lot of the defending then that's going to help you but as you see man when you're putting up the height and stuff on these builds it goes down a lot at least for centers Centers, I feel like they're just getting destroyed. You really can't have a 7-3 big man, 7-2, 7-1. You're going to have to be 7-foot. Now, this build, like I said, is a very dominant. This is just you go down low, and you're going to score this. You're going to give that big man a ball right in the post. He's just going to drop step and get you two points almost every single time that he gets down there. Now, I enjoy, I, I enjoy playing like that. Now, the 7-foot, I do have a 7-foot big man that I didn't make. All you have to do, man, is just put on Giant Slayer, and it's basically the same as like a 7-3. But that costs three badges, so now you have to you mean put that toward another badge, and you can easily just have it on something else. So I would probably either say just go with like a seven foot low, unless you want to be a dominant score. If you're playing on a twos, I would probably seven three is the way to go. If you have like a shooter with you, because this is more of like a glass cleaning type of build where you can just you mean set the screen, set the hard body, big boy screens, and then go down low, throw on a dunk or two. You can still catch lobs. You'll still be able to finish whatever points you need. You can still score out the post. So this right here will probably be more of like a twos build. I wouldn't say much of a threes build because you're going to be very, very slow. As you see, this the speed gets knocked off a lot this year. For some reason, the weight doesn't change it, which I think is stupid. The height really shouldn't change much from the speed. A lot of like the fastest players in the league are pretty tall, but who knows where it's 2K. But then, I don't know, bro. They're going to mess a little bit. They're going to change a lot up each year. That way we can have these cheesy bigs, bro. But I'm still going to make a huge big man max wingspan nothing really gets knocked off that you need like i said you're not really going to be shooting middies and threes with this build so you're not going to need that so i'd probably just say max weight max wingspan just max everything out that way you can be a bully this is a bully build as you see back to basket big this is put that back right to the basket bro and get you some points it's going to be very helpful and very good for the twos for pro-am i would probably say you might want to have one of these if you're playing pro-am and then have like another secondary big build, whether it's a stretch big, or if you want to just have another secondary big build that can just run around and score a little bit better out of the post, or just you know shoot and pass a little bit better, and then your small four can be your shooter. It's all up to people's play styles. But as you see, man, we have a good amount of badges to work with. Now the only thing that is very bad about the the way that I upgraded it is the shooting. Like I said, bro, do not build the shooting as much as I did. Do not put as much into the mid range and the three pointer. If you want to keep the free throw and post fade, I would probably say just keep it like that. But you get no badges for your defense and stuff, which is where the rebounding is, which doesn't really make a sense. That sh I feel like that should just be like, I don't know. They need to figure something else with that. Like, we start so low. Big start out with like a 30 rebound and so do guards. So we have to waste a lot of points upgrading our rebound. when Every big man build should start at like a 60, and then they should got to go up. Like, it should not cost me 60 points to put my rebounding up to a 90, or 40, 50 points to put up to an 80 or 70. I feel like it's very unfair for bigs. Like, bigs are getting a very hard hit. They're going to have to change it. I know Ronnie did talk about it a little bit on stream when he was on there with Cash about how, like, the rebounding is. And I've, I've been saying this since I'd seen it, since I noticed it. They're going to have to change that just because of the fact that it should not cost me 60 of my upgrades to put up my rebounding when that's, like, the main stat as a big man. That's so dumb. That's like if my like, ball handling was the same as a point guard. It, it doesn't make sense. So they're going to hopefully they change that when the game does drop. But I hope they really notice it and they actually see it as an issue because it shouldn't have cost me 50 or 60 to put on my rebound when the whole center build is to rebound. No matter what big man it is, 
the big's always the rebounder. They usually grab your boards. So we should start around, like I said, like a 60 or at least like a 65. I know that's one that's not even that high. So if you want to keep it there, you can. But then you can drop our other stats. Like you can put other things lower. Since our driving layup is super low and our driving dunk's lower, then put that like default down a little bit lower or the ball handling. They're going to have to figure it out. There's different positions. There's different builds. It's very easy to fix. Honestly, it's not that hard. I don't know if they'll be able to do it this year. I doubt they might, might do it. Who knows? I mean, the game hasn't dropped yet. They still have like a week and a half to work with. So hopefully they figured out. Hopefully they already did fix it. But this right here basically is the full build, man. As you see, we get some pretty good badges. You could, I can get a bunch of like gold and Hall of Fames. As you see, bro, we get Dead Eye, Deep Fades, even Steady Shooter. Now, Steady Shooter is a bad badge, bro. There's a little singer behind that badge. They already released the news on it. It's not that good of a badge. A bunch of these badges that you think are good really aren't that good. Now, like I said, no. Don't build the shooting as much. You don't really need all those badges. You're not going to be shooting. You only really need Post Fade and the Deep Fade. So if you want to have like eight shooting badges you can be, get them both hall of fame or six to just get them both gold it's up to you it's all about the play style now, as you see like i was saying but we only get one defense and rebounding badge so it's either going to be you can't get no brick wall which i feel like brick wall might should be in playmaking i don't really see that as a defending badge or anything in rebounding so I, they just honestly threw that into a category that was very stupid i really feel like um brick wall is more of like a playmaking badge like you are making a play right there like i don't see how post pin technician is in playmaking but brick wall is in like a couple of these badges it really doesn't make a lot of sense even dream shake is a playmaking badge that should be a finishing badge dream shake isn't too bad and you're really able to do like pretty good stuff with it i mean you really can't just go too crazy with it now as you see you get a certain amount of badges now if you build your big man build like this you actually can get dimer i forgot that you really can't get dimer on these types of builds man but i mean that's the full build right here i hope y'all enjoyed the video man please like comment Subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.